Hey friends! <laughs> okay, so we are embarking on a little family challenge. It's spring up in the northern latitudes where we are and that makes us think about <laughs> wild food and getting out more, being oh. alive. Just kind of feeling healthy and vital. I was just running outside jumping on my stickers, so. <laughs> yeah. Yep, yeah. Getting outside and more. Emma so and I nice. were barefoot climbing on logs. <laughs> <laughs> wild greens. Yeah. But sometimes the wild greens have kind of a bitter flavor. And so part of this springtime can be reworking our taste buds. Because mm. I feel like during the winter, it's a little easy to slip into, you know, pies. And... Comfort put foods, kind of. Yeah. yeah. Yummy, sweet things. And warm things yeah so we're gonna do a little sugar challenge and we are inviting you to come along with us just what you wanted right <laughs> <laughs> everybody's going yay oh, why did yay. i watch this video <laughs> <laughs> no you don't have to if you don't want to and obviously you have to be ready in your life as well because it takes some preparation but but we really encourage you to because it is awesome what happens when you do this totally so our plan is to take two weeks and be sugar-free and it'll be in phases and we're going to start off our first three days just trying to eradicate sweet from our diet. So no apples. Mm -hmm, but also no beets or sweet potatoes or anything that's just really, really sweet so that we can essentially reset our taste buds to actually taste the natural sweetness in foods as it is without anything added. So that first three days, nothing that even tastes sweet. The idea here is to reset your taste buds. And after that, we're just going to be avoiding... Actual sugar. So what, what, is that, what does that mean for people? Um, not pies. <laughs> no pies? Sure. No pies. Oh, come on. Um, for sure any processed food that has sugar in it. Right. And, and in general, we're also kind of just using it as an excuse not to have so much processed food anyway. Not that we eat a lot of that, but it's kind of, if you're paying attention to sugar, you're also kind of going to be paying attention to, hey, what am I actually eating? So no honey, no molasses, no maple syrup. Um, yeah. We are going to add in gradually fruit and vegetables that mm. are sweet, but I think we're going to do that kind of slowly so that we've reset our taste buds and we don't just get a giant boom banana back right yeah tomorrow. we're not going to start with bananas right away so you might want to tailor it to whatever makes sense to you maybe you want to do a longer period of getting rid of the sweet flavor um, or maybe you want to add bananas in right away again or something but we're going to try really just to go for whole unprocessed food with no extra sugars added so again, you are invited along with us. Yeah, come on, and this is fun. <laughs> we're gonna try to do, uh, I don't know, we're gonna do some updates throughout these two weeks. So that if you're coming along with us, we're gonna be sharing our experience. How and what, it's going. Yeah, what, temptations, what it feels like, failures, whatever it is. And then through the comments, of course, you can come along on the journey with us and you it'll can be fun. Hear how your experience is. That'd be so fun. Yeah, I'm very <laughs> curious. Is it going to be hard? Is it going to be a bumpy period? Is it going to be easier than we thought? And how will we feel at the end of two weeks? Yeah. All right. So please consider joining us. Tell us if you are going to. And then we will be along with you for yeah. the next two weeks. Share the adventure. As we do this. <laughs> We're starting tomorrow. Thanks for being a part yeah, of our yeah. experience. Hugs and kisses that never end. <laughs> Love to you all.